All right, this is what are you saying? Hashtag ways. We are still discussing coronavirus and we have Dr. Tokumbo Babajide. Now, remember, you can join the conversation. Please, no phone calls. Tweet to us at Plus TV Africa or at Wayshio One with the hashtag ways or send us an SMS or WhatsApp on 081-803-8466. Thank you so much, Dr. Tokumbo, for joining us. You are an occupational health physician. Yes, I am. So the first um, concern for me, because um, we, we, we read a research about somebody trying to escape, uh, what's it called, a facility. We don't know how true that is, but um, what is the biggest risk when it comes to, for, for health workers? Yeah, for health workers, the, the biggest risk is the risk of transmitting the disease of contracting the disease because basically you're taking care of the patients you have contact with the patients and this illness is a, is a respiratory illness so what it means is even without you touching the patients from taking history from examining the and then even up until examining the patient you can contract the disease all the patient needs to do is sneeze you can't examine the patient um, at one meter away from the patient. That's the you risk we face as healthcare workers. Yeah. You have to be you have to be close to the patient, and so it's it's a disease that's it just puts the healthcare workers at risk. So do you so, think? Sorry, do you think Nigerians were prepared for coronavirus? Um, I will say no country is prepared for coronavirus as it is. Really? Yeah, because everybody has done what they can to prevent it. But despite preparations, despite uh, preventive measures put in place, it's still getting into all the countries. So I don't want to um, criticize any country in particular. It's a disease that, despite preparation, is still penetrating. And that's the danger with coronavirus. That's, that, that, that's what I can say about it. With this virus, do you think that if there is any case of infection on occupational doctors like yourself, do you think that uh, there's some sort of an insurance, health insurance that will back you up? So I will not say occupational. I think I will just go across with coronavirus. Let's just look at all healthcare workers. And in a country like Nigeria, I will not want to go into health insurance for doctors. I think right now, the reality is what do we need to protect us? Do we need to do to protect ourselves as healthcare workers? What does the government have to do to protect us as healthcare workers? And what do employers have to do to protect us as healthcare, healthcare workers, workers and what do we have to do as healthcare workers to protect ourselves, ourselves. and our colleagues mm -hmm. and that is the focus right now so with regards to that each hospital has to be prepared and you know when it comes to emergencies there's something you call preparedness and right now when it comes to infectious diseases even hospitals have to put measures in place for preparedness right now are we that prepared in nigeria not exactly and that is what hospitals need to do you need to put measures in place to protect yourself and to protect so your what employees. what are these measures? Yeah. Very good. <laughs> very good. So the, these measures will, in, will start from very basic things. Simple, standard precautions. You keep hearing hand hygiene. Hand hygiene. With regards to hand hygiene, a lot of hospitals may not be doing very well. And that's because of the way we are in Nigeria. Let's face it. So right now, we need to take simple precautions very seriously. Wash your hands. And there's just five things that WHO has told us. To do. Before you touch every patient, wash your hands. And why I, said, why I said we are not very prepared is you have facilities that don't even have water supply. And these are realities we are faced with. In hospitals. In hospitals, yes. That's where we are. You know, so you have a lot of public facilities that don't have water. You have a lot of small private facilities, which are the majority that do not have adequate water supply. So the reality right now is as a country, the Lagos state has done a lot, and certain state governments. But you know, when you now go to the grassroots, which is where you have majority of Nigerians, are we prepared? And that's what Nigerians need to do. And I will want to say something with regards to preparedness, with regards to protection. You can protect yourself. It may seem like, oh, Nigeria, we don't have everything that China has. Are you sure we can handle this disease? Let's be very practical here. Simple precautions, we can protect ourselves. And so what do we need to do in terms of that? So wash your hands before you touch every patient, or if you don't have water, sanitize your hands properly. Before you touch every patient, after you touch every patient, before, I mean, after, before you do, um, hygienic procedures, that before you do aseptic procedures, these are clean procedures like maybe you want to cut, you want to have a surgery on the patient, these are aseptic procedures. Before you do them, you make sure you wash your hands properly. And then when you have contact with patient areas, 
you want to make sure you just go into your patient room. You haven't touched your patient, but you've touched the bed. Wash your hands once you leave the place. When you do such things, you are, you are more likely to have protected yourself significantly. What else? else do healthcare workers have to do so there are certain things we call ppe personal protective equipment so it depends on the procedures you do but before most of the for when you the one that is likely to be most contaminated are the gloves because that's what you used to touch anyway and for healthcare workers majority of the procedures you do the hand is what is more is a is a major or a key tool. media tool no matter what procedure you are doing whether you are touching tools whether you are touching equipment whether you are touching simple you're things are scissors, you are your using hands. your hands or you are using your hands to touch the patient so make sure that your hands are properly covered so i'd like to come away from the um healthcare, healthcare workers. workers now we've seen uh when you watch the news you see cities like wuhan you see a lot of cities where literally the streets are empty and we've talked about these basic preventative measures but let's come back to lagos or nigeria should we be worrying about our day-to-day -day movement? So our offices, our children going to schools. I can't wash my hand at every bus stop. I can't wash my hand when I get into a bus. What are, what are the things that we should be looking at? Because preparedness, again, is what you've talked about. But those are some real concerns because day-to-day -day life can't shut down. Especially in Nigeria. So let's talk about Nigeria. So we need to prepare. I will advise everybody to have their hand sanitizers. What if you can't Alcohol get Alcohol-based. <laughs> well, <laughs> well. Sanitizers are sold out, too. They are all sold out. But you see, so you know what you know what someone told me actually mm. today? My um, DSTV guy. Mm. He said, Madam, he sent his wife to go and get sanitizers. Guess what people are doing? Stop. They are selling sanitizers that they imported during Ebola. That immediately after Ebola left us, people abandoned the sanitizers, so they were not able to sell them off. So now they are selling expired sanitizers, oh, to, and people are buying, buying it. it. That was what he told me today. <laughs> so, so sanitizers? Well, I would say that, I mean, for us in my organization, it, it was just very, of, it was, it, it's a reality that if anybody is not prepared right now, it's I would say rich. it's carelessness. Because it is something we all knew was going to come. We saw this sooner coming. Sooner or later. Yeah. So if you, at this time, if you, don't have, if you do not have sanitizers for yourself, for your children, for, your, for members of your family, um, I will say you have been careless. But then, what do you do? Well, you will hope that whichever one you buy is not fake. Hmm. Because there is nothing. So that is one. The other thing is, even after sanitizing your hands, because of the country we live in, the likelihood of having fake in the market, still try and wash your hands with soap and water. Okay. That's, you know, that makes you, sense. Yes. And then for those of us, for the majority that go in public transport, once you get into the bus, you sanitize your hands. Once you come out, you sanitize your hands. And if you think that you're safer wearing your gloves, I mean, why not? I want to even beg people that are using public transport. I think you should stop buying things on the street. Don't buy all these things that have been hawked. Exactly. Because, you know, you are inside the bus. If you want to take it, you are tearing the pure water nylon or tearing whatever with your mouth. Your hands are dirty. So it's actually, and there are so many things that we can do. But there's a question. The as well. Yeah. You say, hello, ways. Other countries try to start um, ch um, check from point of entry into their country. I'm surprised in Nigeria, we let people in without appropriate checks and just ask them to self-quarantine and possibly drop their phone numbers. Really, you know, <laughs> the person is saying really for what? Well, so, um, because so we're talking about prevention now as regards the government, you know, are we, are they doing enough? So even before now, I mean, up, up until two, two weeks ago thereabouts, I've been speaking with certain senior health officials with, with Lagos State and they've been supervising what they've been doing. So uh, they have thermal screens that you can see. So they are not using the infrared thermometers. Okay. Okay. And so everybody that passes through is passing through the thermal screen. So okay. that's a form of check they will be doing. Now, can we do more? Yes. But to say they are not doing anything, um, I, I, I won't say that. They've been doing something, but we can always escalate what we are doing. Right now, um, you know at the airport, the risk is that even the travelers, the airport is an enclosed space. So even a traveler that brought it can even put it in the air and everybody can get it. So if the, if the officials at the airport can wear their mask, which I think they are wearing right now, okay. it will also protect them further. Okay. How did the index case make it through the thermal scan? Yes, so that, that, that's a very good question. It's possible at the time it came in, it didn't have a fever, one. 
Two, he might have had a fever, knew he had a fever. Nobody knows. And it's possible to have taken temperature, so, to have taken, I mean, analgesics, paracetamol. But be it as it may, at the time he came into the country, he didn't have symptoms. But the following day he came, he went to the hospital, and the doctor did a fantastic job by thinking, hey, this gentleman is here. He's Italian. coming from Italy. From Italy. Let's, I think it may be a case of corona. And he said, he's done a lot to save us. We That's the case of Dr. Superstar yeah, Dr. Adele yeah. Devo. God yeah. bless you. God bless your family mm -hmm. because she saved us from yeah. a lot of things and lost her life in the process. So we're going back to, um, um, what's it called? Um, the, myth. the myth. So people are saying... Um, <laughs> take chloroquine and you just mentioned something about taking paracetamol no, you, so know? Paracetamol, you know just to calm down the temperature and oh so what paracetamol does i mean it, it's it's like okay i have a fever in the house and i just take paracetamol and go to the hospital so that's where the thing with fever is okay so i might whether it's corona or whatever i don't know what it is i take paracetamol i go to the hospital so that's where the problem may be sometimes with so no self-diagnosis. No, no, yeah. no, I was just no. going to say that self-medication is a yeah. huge thing for self-medication. Uh, for Nigerians, yeah. we like to go to the pharmacy. Again, it's viral, so uh, uh, antibiotics won't work mm -mm. because people mm -mm. like to mm -mm. quickly. And I would like to say something here for those that might have had contact with this person. I don't know, either in Ogunsis or anywhere. There is no point hiding, and the reason is you're doing yourself more favor by coming out actually so being in isolation is not a punishment it's not a detention it might not be let's face it it might not be the best of condition for anyone not even for the healthcare workers but guess what you are protecting yourself because once protecting the treatment your and, and your family and you're protecting your loved ones and your loved ones once it is detected you're put in isolation you're treated early don't forget like um dr nesuchi has said it's not all cases that get very serious Majority actually have mild symptoms, but if you keep yourself, if you hide it yourself, get, it might, get it might even get worse. It might deteriorate, yeah. And and there's something doctors in Japan have found taking care of patients with coronavirus that it doesn't stay long when you drink a lot of water. So when you drink a lot of water, right, uh -huh. you wash the Clean virus the down. No, Meanwhile, no. our Nigerian brothers and sisters says if you drink a lot of alcohol. No. load your system with alcohol that yeah. it kills the virus no, so oh apparently so apparently what happened was i think it was it was a cnn report yeah somebody just took alcohol kills for coronavirus yeah. apparently it was supposed to be alcohol based and sanitizers yeah. are good and somebody took a snapshot of it and sent it and oh it went God. and it went viral. <laughs> yeah, viral so alcohol does not kill it you just need to take a lot of water, water. so taking a lot of hydrate water, your system hydrate yourself so it gets it pushes if at all you have it it's not even passing it out once it gets into the stomach, the acid in the stomach kills the virus. Oh. Whoa. So, it's, so right now, that's another lesson for everyone, to drink a lot drink of water. Awesome. Awesome. That's every, 15 every 15 minutes. Every 15 so minutes. So like how many liters of water should we be taking? I mean, it's take a sip <laughs> every 15 minutes. <laughs> We're taking and in the tropics, what we require is three liters. So that's 475 CL ever water bottle. That's fantastic. So take a sip every 15 minutes. That's fantastic. And then you find out very I think yourself. we have been enlightened today. Totally. So today we, we, we really, really dealt with, um, what's it called? The, the health, health side of, the of, health side of oh, coronavirus. coronavirus. Tomorrow we're looking at the economic... The scarier part. The economic <laughs> impact of coronavirus because, I mean, all the stocks are just nosediving exactly. everywhere. Exactly. Everything is just going so all over the place. So we're still going country. to continue coronavirus tomorrow, but we'll look at it from the economic angle. Thank you so much, Dr. Babajide, for pleasure. coming. It's I really, pleasure. really learned something today. My pleasure. <laughs> and thanks thank to our Dr. Nasuchi as well. Now, you can watch a repeat broadcast on Mondays, Saturdays, and Sundays at 3 p.m. Now, ladies... It's been a very, very insightful conversation. It has. Absolutely. You, if you talk you talk to the professionals and you feel a lot better. You so. feel better. I feel very good now. I'm not scared anymore. <laughs> I just have to buy more hand hand wash. And drink a lot Stay of water. Prevention. Well. I drink a lot prevention of water. Prevention anyway, is the key so, thing um, to do yeah. here. Prevention. Yeah. 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 Yes. All right. So um, remember to keep all the conversations going on all our social media platform as we continue to hear what you are saying. Now, in case you missed today's quote, here it is. Influenza pandemics must be taken seriously precisely because of their capacity to spread rapidly to every country in the world. Is that true, Dr. Babajide? Yes. Absolutely. So enjoy the rest of your evening. <laughs> Bye.